I have three things that will kind of help us as we dive in. And, and whether you've been following Jesus for a long time or, or maybe recently, we can put these things into practice right now. The first thing is, remember what God has done. He sent his son to die on your behalf, to take the penalty of your sin, because all of us have fallen short of the glory of God. Anything we do that is righteous is nothing but filthy rags to God, as scripture says. So he wanted to be with us and restore and redeem and reconcile us to him. So he sent his son to die on your behalf, on my behalf. So we have to remember that. But how do we remember that? It's not just reciting it every single day, which is good. That's, that's, that's great. But we got to be with God. Being with God in scripture, being with God and listening to worship music being sung over us. I do this all the time where the Bible app has, uh, where you can have it be read to you. You can listen. As I'm riding in the car or as I'm running, I can literally find a, uh, a, a mer- more uh, pleasing voice, you know, as you can listen and hear this voice. And then there's some that you can put beats behind. So you, as you're running, you're like, all right, I'm just keeping up with the beats of Scripture. It's great. But we have to be with God. We're all learn differently, enjoy different things. But we have to be with God as we remember who he is because being an ambassador is not remembering perfectly. But how can we forget less often of who God is? The second thing is remember where you've been. Who were you before? Remember where you've been, what, what God has done for you, what he's brought you out of, who you were before Christ. Remember who you've been because, you know, I will tell you, there are many times that we can remember the dark days, we can remember the things that, you know, that God brought us out of, these difficult things and all that kind of stuff. But for this, I want us to remember, like, the good things, that who you are and what God has brought you out of ultimately to bring you to him to be with him as the Israelites people. They were, they were brought over the Jordan River, delivered. They need, to be rem- rem- they need to remember not that they were delivered in that moment, but they are delivered. They're with God. He chooses to be with them, and it's the same for us. He has chosen to be with us. And there are many times that I can remember those dark things, but I want to remember what God has done for me and who I am and who I was. Sometimes I can get caught up and I'll give you these two things. I can remember that my dad has passed away. Or I can remember the fact that before he passed away, he got to re- re- hold my son. Which two of those are going to bring me more joy? Probably the fact that I got to I have this picture embedded in my head of my dad holding my son. And that was an answer to a prayer. Yes, my dad's healed and he's with God, but I wanted him healed here on earth. I didn't get that. But I did get the fact that he held my son. So I can remember those and remember who I was before then and all those moments. And then lastly, I want to remember where we're going. We have to remember where we're going. Remember God, what he's done for you. Remember who you were and remember where you're going. As we've been talking about ambassadors, ambassadors is someone who's been sent uh, to represent the homeland in a foreign land. And it says this in Revelation 21, look, God's dwelling place is now among the people and he will dwell with them. They will be his people and God himself will be with them and be their God. He will wipe every tear from their eyes and there will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain for the old order of things has passed away. And it says this, and he was seated at the throne. He says, I am making everything new. We have to remember where we're going because he is making everything new when he returns. But even now, he's making everything new. As ambassadors, we are in this foreign country representing the homeland. And if we cannot represent the homeland, if we forget that God made a way for us to call heaven home, we have to remember that. And in 2 Corinthians 5.20, this has been our theme verse. I shared at the beginning, and it's been talked about over and over and over again, but I want to read it one more time because I love how it kind of, how it finishes this chapter. 
So in 2 Corinthians 5.20, it says, We are therefore Christ's ambassadors, though God were making his appeal through us. We implore you on Christ's behalf to be reconciled to God. Now, I'm not sure if this is like was Paul's intent, the way that he finished this chapter as he's writing to the church in Corinth, but I love what verse 21 says. God made him who had no sin to be sin for us so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. As we've been walking through this ambassador series, it's like this verse here paired with our theme verse is now this tag of, hey, remember why you're ambassadors in the first place. Remember how it's even possible for you to do what I have called you to do. It's because Christ became sin who knew no sin so that what? You can become the righteousness of God. Not because of anything you've done, not because you've earned it or you've said all the right things. Because Christ died on your behalf, you now get to partake if you have received that truth. So what do we do with this? We remember. We remember. We remember.